Hello YouTube, it's Josie. If this is your first time here, welcome to my channel. If you're already subscribed, then welcome back. This story time is going to be about when I was 16 and pregnant, <laughs> just like the show. <laughs> so the beginning of the story might seem a little bit sad. I met my baby daddy, baby's daddy, my son's dad. Like seven days later, we thought we were in love, thought we were in love, and I'm probably a thought for telling this story because I got pregnant at 16 like seven days later after meeting this guy. So anyway, we meet, um, we think we're in love, and we actually start talking about like having a baby just out of nowhere. He's like, I want kids someday. Well, let's get pregnant. Let's have a baby. I want a son. And so I was just like, I was a wild teenager. Like, I'm not going to lie. Well, I thought I was in love with this guy, so I was just like, okay, um, get me pregnant. It really wasn't that hard. I literally got pregnant, and like a month later, I took a test, and lo and behold, I was pregnant. The sad part about the story is I had a miscarriage, so like maybe a month and a half into my pregnancy, I got a miscarriage, but we were still like in love, or thought we were in love, and so... I got pregnant like right away after I had the miscarriage like I think I was still bleeding oh my god I'm so ratchet for this so ratchet can't believe I'm telling this story on YouTube on my vlog I was still bleeding and I literally got pregnant while I was still bleeding from the miscarriage oh my god that's so fucked up I don't care I don't care <laughs> whatever shit happens when you're a kid so this is how my son Isaiah was born he's nine years old now he just turned nine so his dad was like such a player back then basically we thought like I said for the millionth time we thought we were in love and <sighs> after I get pregnant I'm like three or four months pregnant this fool starts talking to other girls starts going and hanging out with other girls at their houses and basically we broke up because I found this girl's number in his phone. <laughs> so I called her. I took off with his phone and I was walking down the street with his phone and he was like inside taking a nap and I called this girl and I was like, why are you on my boyfriend's phone? And she's like, well, he didn't tell me he had a girlfriend and he came over to hang out but we didn't do anything yet. And I'm like, yet? <laughs> okay, I'm like, be honest with me, okay? I'm not mad at you, you didn't know that he had a girlfriend, but I'm pregnant with his kid right now, so I need you to tell me the truth, like, have you guys done anything, and if you had, if you have done anything, I'll leave him, you can have him, and she was like, she was totally cool about it, she was honest, she was like, no, we haven't done anything, um, we were, like, talking about it, he's been saying, like, he wants to come over and fuck and all this nasty shit. He was being a hoe. She gave me the tea on like everything that he was saying to her and everything they were doing. He actually deleted the text that he was saying to her, but he forgot to delete the call. Or he probably was deleting the calls because I only found him calling her number one time in the phone. So he was probably de like deleting the calls previously. So I go back and I'm livid. Like at 16, I was fucking hypey. I was a crazy little bitch and I was so mad. I like threw something at him and we got into like a big fight and he like grabbed me by my hair. <laughs> it was just all bad, all bad. Anyways, so we broke up for that while I was pregnant. This fool thinks he was slick at the time. Hi Derek. We're cool, right? We're cool now? We're cool. Anyways, um, so we were like both kids, you know, we were both young. He was actually way older than me. I think he was like 19. Well, he was like a few years older than me. He was 19 at the time, I think, or almost about 20, but um, he's still like, he was like 12 years old in the brain at that time. <laughs> he's like much more mature now, so much better now, such a great father now. Like I said, this fool thinks he's slick, and he starts coming over and hanging out like two, three weeks before I'm supposed to have the baby, right? And he's at my house like every day staying the night we start seeing each other again he was just trying to get close to me so I wouldn't try to keep the baby away from him I gotta like be cool with her now so I can see my kids so I get it I understand he was being a typical 
teenage manipulative man boy. He was there while I had the baby at the hospital. Seeing a child be born into the world, they're kind of like grossed out at first and then they like fall in love with the baby. Like, okay, at this time I had a best friend, Ashley, and she was basically like my wife through my whole pregnancy. Like he wasn't there through, you know, most of the pregnancy, but she like took really good care of me. Ashley, if you ever see this, thanks for being a good friend when we were younger. I don't know where you went. My son literally saved my life. Like, I was such a wild teenager. I would party, like, all the time, all night long. I would be gone for days. I actually went to her group home for, like, I want to say like five months like four or five months because I was constantly running away when I was a teenager I was so bad I, I pray to God my kids are not anything like how I was terrible nightmare child I feel bad for my mother the shit that I put her through but anyways my son he saved my life like he was such an angel he came into my life and I did a complete 360 like I changed my whole life around I I mean I don't really think I was that bad but then like again I don't know I think my worst part was just being so rebellious to where like I never wanted to be home like I wasn't out doing like terrible shit but I just didn't want to be home so like I would be gone a lot so when I had my son like I feel like I was a pretty good mother like I learned a lot of stuff from my sister too on how to take care of a baby like I watched her how she took care of her son Lucas her first child and she was such a great mother too like all of my cleaning skills and like how to change the diaper and like with boys you have to get in like every little nook and cranny and in between the balls and the penis when you wipe their butts and make sure they're all clean like I learned all of that from my sister all of the little details that make you a good mother I feel like I owe my sister for that so thank you Amber I love you if you ever see this I love you best sister ever unblock me please getting pregnant at 16 or 17 being pregnant at 17 it really did help me like you know just become a better person and be a better mother and like of course nobody should be getting pregnant at 16 or 17 before they start their lives you know like that's when you're supposed to just be being a teenager and living your life and like preparing for adulthood but if it happens by accident if you're a 17 year old out there right now and you're pregnant and you're you know you don't know what to do just be the best you be the best person that you can be focus on that baby focus on yourself and that baby only and make the best out of it it really forces you to mature and grow which you know is a good thing you can take it in stride they'll tell you like your life is going to be ruined if you get pregnant which it can be depending on how prepared you are or what mindset you have um, I do not condone getting pregnant at 16 or 17 I just think from my situation because of who I was getting pregnant at that time really did just like help me mature better just because of who I am like being the strong person that I am like I know I'm a strong fucking person mentally emotionally physically that's right look at that flex flex okay so yeah don't get pregnant at 16 or 17 but if you do you should try to be the best mother that you can be look at the bright side and and do the best you can that's all I can really say because that's what I did and I turned out all right I feel like all my kids are just such blessings like honestly like in this life they say like you should find one person and you have your kids and you get married and stay together forever but you know sometimes life doesn't happen that way but I do believe that the children that we have are supposed to happen for a reason I believe that wholeheartedly so even though I've had my kids young I I love my life and I couldn't have it any other way so if you like this video give it a thumbs up or you can subscribe for more story time or hit that notification bell in the corner I'll be back with more story time thanks for watching